Hello, everyone. Now we're moving to the second stage of this class. And this is actually a very, very essential part of this class because you have to find out the source of your inner doubts. Or sometimes really, really bad is called self-abasement. Self-abasement means that you look down on yourself. You don't think that you're really, really important uh, for your own goals, OK? And so we have three, uh, actually four steps for you to do through this exercise. Uh, the first step is for you to think about some voices, especially some negative voices that occur very, very frequently in your life. For example, you want to do something, you want to achieve something, you want to prepare for a test. And while you're uh, trying to prepare for the test, there are a lot of doubts, there are a lot of troubling, troubling thoughts uh, that's questioning your ability. So this kind of thing can be seen as negative voices. So the first step is for you to think about some frequent negative voices that often stop you from what you want to focus on, stop you from what you want to achieve. OK, so this is the first thing. Uh, the first thing you have to think about, and maybe it will take you for about three or even longer time for you to think about those voices. And then the second stage for you is for you to try to uh, imagine those situations. In what, under what kind of situation have you experienced those negative voices? Okay? And as we already talked about the possible situation like when you are preparing for the test, right? Or you want to uh, achieve some goal like you want to get TOEIC, TOEIC uh, 990 score. But somehow you have a lot of doubts that you won't get this high score. So the second stage is for you to think about the possible situation or real situation in which you really can hear or can imagine those negative thoughts or negative voices. OK, so now let's move on to number three stage. The third stage is that once you recognize those negative voices in your head or in any part of your body, maybe you have to think about moving them. I mean, imaginatively, moving those voices from where they are till your, to your uh, throat. Like, uh, originally, maybe you think those negative thoughts, negative voices come from the back. Okay, or maybe those negative thoughts come from the back of your head. And now the third stage is for you to try to move them, try to relocate them from where they are, like the back of your head, toward your throat. Okay, you can try in two different ways. The first way is for you to uh, try to say things literally, directly, aloud. This is the first way. And then the second way is for you to just think about it. Think about and imagine whenever those negative ideas, negative voices come up, and then you move them from where they are toward your own throat. And imagine that you are saying them aloud, but actually in your head only. You don't really say them, OK? So this is the second way. And now let's try this method for a little while, and again, maybe for three minutes or longer. OK, so now let's move to the last stage. This is the fourth stage for you to practice this exercise. And in the third stage, you remember that you already moved those negative ideas, negative voices to your throat, right? And now, if you still think those voices are negative, or critical, this time you have to do something else. So the thing you have to do is that you try to change the sentence pattern. OK? For example, if they are really negative, like, you're so stupid, OK? Or like, you can never do it. You can never do it. And now you can try to change the sentence into a question. Like, originally, 
uh, originally the sentence is "You're so stupid," right? And now you will make the question, uh, make the sentence into a question by saying, "Are you stupid?" <laughs> okay? And then another example is that uh, maybe the original negative idea is that, "Oh, you can never do it." And now you try to transform the negative sentence into a question form, like, "Can you do it?" Okay? Change them to question form, or change them to a more neutral tone. So it, there, there will not be negative voices anymore. And then whenever you already change them to question forms or more neutral form, I want you to say these sentences aloud this time. So this is the fourth stage we have to do: change them. To question, or change them to a little bit, maybe more encouraging sentences, and then say the sentences aloud, of course, through your throat. So this is the last stage. Okay, so now we can see that we practice the long exercise, right? You already experienced the four former stages. Uh, about how you change those negative ideas or negative voices into more encouraging voices, and now maybe you already have experienced something that's different that's already happened in your mind, and I want you to think about some possible future events where you may encounter again those negative voices. Okay, so now the second part. Of this practice is that you have to think about some future event where you might experience those criticism, experience those self doubt or negative voices again, and then whenever you think about those future events, you have to go through the four steps we just talked about, right? You remember the sentences, and then you try to. Locate where the sentences is, and then try to move down to your throat. And next stage is for you to try to make them into questions or even encouraging sentences. So these are of the final exercise for you to change your self doubt. Okay, and now. Uh, the last part of this course is for you to watch a video because I believe that you already experienced something in your mind, right? You already tried to、uh, try hard to change those criticism or those imaginary imaginary negative voices in your head for a long time, right? Change them into more encouraging ones, and now after watching the next video. You'll be know that you'll be using different kind of strategies in coping with those possible difficulties or challenges in the future. So now let's watch the last movie. ถ้าพูดถึงทีมฟุตบอลของเราคงต้องย้อนกลับไปที่วันแรกที่นี่ชาวบ้านชอบดูฟุตบอลกันมากแต่ไม่มีใครเคยเล่นหรอกก็อย่างที่เห็นเรากินนอนอยู่บนน้ำมาแต่ไหนแต่ไรแล้วพอที่นี่ไม่มีบุญนิ่งสักนิดกีฬาอย่างเดียวที่เล่นกันได้คือเกงเรือไม่ก็โม้กันล่างฟ้าที่จับได้วันนั้นแหละความคิดเล็กๆก็เกิดขึ้นพวกเราคิดตั้งทีมฟุตบอลขึ้นมาแต่ชาวบ้านก็คิดว่าพวกเราบ้าอย่างที่แกพูดพวกเราไม่มีแม้แต่ที่ให้เล่นฟุตบอลพอเราจัดทีมกันเสร็จปัญหาต่อมาก็คือเราจะเตะกันที่ไหนล่ะที่นี่มีแต่ทางเดินแคบๆแล้วเราก็มีความคิดว่าเราต้องสร้างพื้นที่ของเราเองเรารวบรวมจุดไม้เก่าๆเข้ากับแพปาทำอย่างนี้ทุกวันหลังเลิกเรียนแล
ลวเราก็สร้างสนามของเราขึ้นมาดกยีดแต่มีวัตถุปูเต็มไปหมดบนตกน้ำบ่อยมากเลยพวกเราด้วยแต่เราก็เรียนรู้ในการเล่นบนสนามแบบนี้ก็นี่แหละสนามของเราเราก็ได้ไปสมัครการแข่งขันฟุตบอลแล้วเราจะสู้กับเขาไหวเหรอแล้วเราก็ตัดสินใจลงแข่งถึงจะไม่มีชุดก็เหอะเราไม่รู้มาก่อนว่าจริงๆแล้วชาวบ้านก็สนใจเราเหมือนกันพวกเขาเอาชุดมาให้แถมตามาเชียร์ด้วยตอนนั้นเราตื่นเต้นนะแต่พอเอาเข้าจริงเราทำได้ดีกว่าที่คาดไว้จังหวะเท้าของเราดีกว่าจากการเลี้ยงหลับตะปูแถมประตูในสนามจริงใหญ่กว่าตั้งเยอะแล้วเราก็เข้าถึงรอบสี่ทีมสุดท้ายวันนั้นฝนตกหนักมากแถมคู่แข่งก็เป็นแชมป์เก่าลองเท้าของเราเต็มไปด้วยน้ำเราเล่นกันไม่ได้เลยหมดครึ่งแรกเราโดนนำไปสองลูกเราสู้ไม่ได้จริงๆเราไม่รู้จะทำยังไงหลังจากครึ่งแรกที่เราสู้ไม่ได้เราต้องทำอะไรบางอย่างเราต้องกลับไปเล่นฟุตบอลแบบของเราด้วยการถอดรองเท้ามันเป็นฟุตบอลแบบที่เราถนัดจริงๆคู่แข่งสู้เราไม่ได้เราเล่นดีขึ้นทำได้ดีขึ้นเราคิดว่าเราจะชนะแต่พวกลูกนั้นในนาทีสุดท้ายนั่นแหละเราไม่เสียใจหรอกดีเจสอีกที่มาได้ไกลขนาดนี้แถมชาวบ้านทุกคนก็ภูมิใจด้วยหลังจากนั้นความคิดของคนทั้งเกาะก็เปลี่ยนไปวันนี้เรามีสนามใหม่ที่ไม่มีตะปูแล้วแต่เราก็ยังไม่ได้เล่นบนสนามหญ้าอยู่ดีเชื่อว่าพลังในตัวคุณเปลี่ยนโลกให้ดีขึ้น TMB Make the Difference